a controversial drama about retribution with luminous performance of the noticeable script. Mina, the lead role whose husband is executed, deals with a lot of problems. Her daughter is deaf and doesn't like school. The landlord wants them to a cat. Her late husband's Bobak family doesn't support her and also bothers her. A lonely woman within these troubles meets a new guy who introduces himself as one of Bobak's friends. He, Reza, helps Mina a lot and gives her hope and incentive for encounter with difficulties. There are two unexpected twists in this story which I will now to reveal. First, after 15 minutes we understand the execution was a mistake. Bobak wasn't the real murderer and one of the witnesses has committed the murder. A man in the court explains to Mina and her brother-in-law this to a state of irreparable mistake in an indifferent manner. Then he tells them, we compensate you with the full blood money for an adult male. Mina is shocked to hear this and suddenly begins uncontrollable crying. This is a pathetic scene. Second, when we realize Reza, who we had thought is an angel sent by God, is actually one of those judges who sentenced Bobak to death. He has guilty conscience now and does everything he can to help Bobak's family. He gives them money and lets them stay in his vacant apartment almost free. Reza also facilitates Mina's way to get her daughter's guardianship officially while her father-in-law demanded that. However, the situation is gonna be complicated when Mina falls in love with Reza. None of them expected such a love. The Ballad of a White Cow involves a lot of sociopolitical hints about contemporary era. First, the plotline obviously criticized Casas, original word for retribution in Iranian legal system, because this is an irreversible law. If a judge sentences someone to death wrongly, there won't be a way to revive the dead. What exactly happened in this movie? Second, there is a point to generational gap between Reza and his son who blames his father for misjudging. Third. We see a pet belongs to the neighbor that sometimes comes to the yard to play. It is mentioned in the movie Dogs are banned on the streets, which is an exaggerated statement. I for one never saw any confrontation with those who take their pets on the streets in Iran. Let me talk about the end of the movie. In a brilliant scene, Bobak's brother calls Mina and tells her that Reza, who has become her supporter, is in fact the judge who had convicted Bobak. Camera moves from Mina's face to Reza buying something, and we just hear what Bobak's brother says on the phone. Then Reza goes to Mina's house for dinner and is poisoned by a glass of warm milk. A few moments later, we understand that was a fantasy in Mina's mind. She finally leaves Bobak and goes out with the baggage. At the last scene, we see Mina and her daughter sitting at the bus station hopelessly. There's still a thing I want to explain. The title. Such a weird title. At the beginning, we see a quote from Quran narrating the story of Moses when he had told his people to slaughter a cow because of God's comment. The ballad of a white cow explicitly refers to this verse. A cow symbolizes Bobak, who were killed based on a law that is said to be determined by God's order, and why it represents innocence as Bobak was sinless. Once in the movie, when Reza's colleague goes to his house to advise him, tells Reza in response to his doubts, God's word cannot be wrong, but it seems the Ballad of a White Cow has a different idea. Thanks for watching.